morning everybody we just ended yesterday's video where we backed into that dock where that green truck is way back there I actually had to be pretty quick to get in here so I didn't actually vlog me backing in here I don't have time to set up cameras and stuff all the time I wish I had because that was quite a difficult Turn back right. yes Karen we are getting going we have to get onto Long Island now because we have to deliver this load a day early my appointment was for noon tomorrow, but I called the receiver there and he's like, come on down, we'll unload you today. That's it. Told you it was gonna be a good day. Told you yesterday it was gonna be a good day. For me, it's the same day. I'm splitting this into two days because there's just way too much to show you. All of the scenery getting here and then all of the scenery going through New York City on this vlog, it's gonna be fun. So let's get going. Just called the receiver over there to double check, verify, double verify that I can get unloaded today. 200 meters, turn left on. Commerce Drive and then turn right in 160 meters. He said, absolutely, come on down. So let's go through New York City. Once we get unloaded, I'm gonna decide whether or not it's worth it for me to come back through right away or if I want to go to bed. He said I could sleep on the street there if I wanted to. But I kind of want to get out of New York City to sleep outside the city somewhere. But if I have to sleep there, I mean, that's okay too. I'll just leave at like two in the morning. All depends if I know where I'm going next, right? That's, that's a big thing. I called into the office earlier and they said, by end of day today, I should have a plan end of day would be at home in about three hours. In 100 meters, turn right on Merritt Road, CR 607. Okay, I'm going to need both lanes here to... Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to need both lanes here. Okay, I might need all three. This is a very narrow road I'm turning on to. Okay, Josh. You know what you're doing? Oh, perfect. Nice gap in traffic. That's the thing about these congested areas. They put these industrial commercial areas in the middle of a residential area. Meters. Turn left on. Central right? 11, CR 615. And the only way to get to the commercial area where all the trucks need to go deliver is by going straight through the residential area. Which lane do I need to be in to turn? I need to turn left here. Oh, there's only one turn lane. Okay, well, that's a pretty small turn lane. I'm gonna make it too. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna take that lane too. Okay. My plan for today was to go to the Vince Lombardi Service Plaza in New Jersey on the Turnpike, uh, right across the river, I guess, from Manhattan. And I was gonna spend the night there. But since I can get unloaded today now, you don't have to tell me twice. I just have to decide now whether or not I'm gonna sleep on the island or come back on this side. Like I was saying, he, uh, he said I am able to park on the street there if I want to. Which means if we're getting there around 4 o'clock, we'll unload. I could probably be out of there like 3 or 4 in the morning. Which wouldn't be too bad, right? Because I'd beat the most of the rush going through the city, I think. Maybe I'd be right in the thick of it, I don't know. But it is a safe area to park in Hop Hodge there. Uh, is that a Hop Hop Hog? I, I, can't, meters, I still can't pronounce it. on North Style Street, CR 615. My friend Moses wife Colleen she uh, has family on the island and she told me how to pronounce it yesterday it's hop hog hop hog been struggling with that name this whole trip thought it was like how papage how papage how papage in 300 meters no, turn hog. left on north style street cr 615 and that is lo looks like a really nice neighborhood excuse you Looks like a really nice neighborhood there on the island. So if I have to stay there, I, I don't mind staying there. That doesn't bother me at all. The thing about this area here though, around Cranford, New Jersey, is there is a nice parkway that goes right past this neighborhood. Nice big like four lane, both ways, eight lane parkway, right? Guess what they did? It's like a big freeway. 
no trucks over five tons. So now the trucks over five tons have got to come down these tight little residential roads to get into Cranford, New Jersey. Because they said no trucks on the freeway. Well, that doesn't make sense. Why don't you make the cars go through the neighborhoods and make the, the interstate, or not the interstate, the freeway for trucks only. I mean, that might be too revolutionary of an idea, but for some reason, New Jersey does not want big trucks like mine on their freeways and parkways. They'd rather us go down these streets. You know, residential where kids Three probably play. Turn left on West Edgar Road, US 1. There's schools in the area here. Like, obviously, these are family homes. So there's kids in the area could be playing on, on the street. Just busy, busy. Myself, maybe it's because I'm from, like, Manitoba. I would never want to live on such a busy street like this. Never. I don't care how hard I try to get my kids not to play in the front yard. All it takes is once. Once that their ball goes rolling out into the street and they go running out to get it without looking or a mistake, right? Or they slip and fall or whatever. Roll into traffic or someone has an accident on the highway, comes into our yard, hits one of my kids like it's... I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, they can sell because people live here. And they're very, very nice homes. Don't get me wrong. Nice homes. Probably a great neighborhood to live in, but such a busy road and they're forcing all the big trucks to come right through here I see we've got a bridge coming up I really hope that's not a low bridge it shouldn't be because this is a truck route oh we got an ambulance get a little bit more out of his way here where's the measurements on that bridge I don't see any measurements on that bridge feet okay we're good as you made that a little bit clearer they hid this this sign behind all these telephone poles right here on the right it says 14 foot 3 we are 13 foot 6 we're actually a little less than that but and there's other trucks coming down here okay good makes me feel a little bit better that I'm not the only one I wonder, right? Like, is this really a truck route? Yes. Yes, it is. They won't let us on the freeway. 600 meters. Turn left on West Edgar Road, US 1. So many people out here. And it's only going to get more and more dense for us today. I've never actually gone onto Long Island. This is my the first time for me. In 200 meters, turn left on West Edgar Road, US 1. From what it looks like to me is that there's uh, obviously the city on the first part of the island, then you get out of the city and then it's kind of uh, a lot less dense. That's why I said I don't mind, I don't think I'll mind sleeping in Hop Hog if I have to. Hop Hog. Hop Hog. Hop Hog. Hop Hog. Hop Hog. I can't with that name. I can't do it. All right. 95. Toll Road, of course. Take my money. In 500 meters, go straight on I-95 North and then keep to the right in 620 meters. You guys see that city skyline? Up on the right over there? That is a crazy amount of buildings. Wow. Oh, well, you guys realizing the last second you're in the last... Ah, yeah, see? You missed the last five signs. I get it. Last minute you realize, oh, I'm in the wrong lane. We're about to go over George Washington Bridge.
couple of times. I remember all of this chaos. It's been a long time though. So according to Google, there's about a four minute delay because of traffic in this section here. Not too surprised. Look at this, even the highways above us there are jam-packed with people. How many of you live in New York City? Like, not New York, but actual city. New York City. What borough are you from? Let me know down below in the comment section. Where, where's that ambulance? Oh, he was above me. Okay. Yeah, I want to know how many viewers I have in and around, uh, in New York City. Now, I don't know all the boroughs, I don't think. I think I think I know a few. There's Manhattan, obviously, right? There's the Bronx. There's Queens. Staten Island, right? Am I right? Am I missing any? I don't even know what I am, what, what I'm in right now. I don't know. To me, it's all just one big concrete jungle. It's all the same thing to me. Uh, even the bridges above the highway are just bumper to bumper. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. There you go. There you go. I left you space. Can you imagine if this was your commute every single day? I'm sure some of you don't even have to imagine. I'm sure some of you are, are these people right here. I, I bet you anything, there's people who watch my videos right here in New York City. You could be on the highway with me right now, I don't know. How do you do it every day? This is exciting for me because this is like once in a while, just a quick visit, just quickly dip in and dip out. How would you do this every day? Definitely 
tight back here, but I think I can make it. I looked it up on Google Maps. Not much room, but there's just enough room. Oh yeah. Just about got everything off. They're trying to figure out how to get this piece off right there now. What's interesting about this trailer at the front is air locked instead of a lever to lock the, the sliding tarps. That was pretty cool. Can you see it in my mirror there? They ended up using a forklift with a little crane on it to get it off. There they go. Just enjoying a oh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. While they finish up. In 100 meters, turn right on Long Island Motor Parkway, CR 67. I'm pretty sure that Karen is trying to turn this into her vlog. If you ever see this channel suddenly change to GPS Karen vlogs, I've been hacked by my GPS, and it's not me. She really wants to be a part of it. Turn right and then. Turn right in 50 meters. She does this all the time. The truck's not even running, Karen. So I've done the math with my hours I have available to me. And I should just be able to make it to the TA Travel Center on the other side of the city on I-80. I have a reload that's in Southern Ontario in Hawksville. So I'm gonna start heading that way right away. Uh, it's in Columbia, New Jersey. That's where the TA is. It's right on my route back. I should be getting there around like 7.30 or so. I'd like to go get a coffee from somewhere though yet. I might, they said I could park on the street here. I might go and park on the street and walk around the corner to a 7-Eleven and get a few steps in today at least, get a little bit of a walk in, grab a coffee and then go. That means we'd be getting to the TA around eight o'clock tonight. And I think that's a pretty fair time to get there. A little bit risky, but not too risky for not finding a parking, pardon me, for finding a, finding a parking spot. We'll see what happens. But from there, I can have a good night's sleep tonight, get going early tomorrow morning, get into Ontario, and keep going from there. That load will be taking me back to Winnipeg. That was chaos. And this actually isn't that bad. Traffic is moving pretty well now. Rush hour is sort of slowing down. My receiver there was saying, oh yeah, traffic won't be too bad at this time. Do you know where I'm from, good sir? There are more than two vehicles in front of me. This traffic is insane. In three kilometers, use the right lane to take exit 31 NS for Cross Island Parkway toward Whitestone Bridge, Kennedy Airport. Huh? I have two GPSs going right now. I got Google and my, uh, and Karen there. For some reason, Karen has been freezing up when she gets like overwhelmed in these big cities. So just in case I have my Google maps going too, just so that I don't, you know, take a wrong turn suddenly by accident, just make double sure. We're still on Long Island, headed back towards the city. This 
lane is supposed to be going straight. Meters. Use the right lane to take exit 31 NS for Cross Island Parkway toward Whitestone Bridge, Kennedy Airport. No, 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 Google. See, that's, that's why I gotta watch it. Left on See? I got two women telling me to go in two different directions. I've gotta go with Karen on this one. I know. Use the right lane to no. take exit 31 NS, then keep right at the fork to continue on exit 31 North. Google, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to go on that road. There are no truck roads. Keep right at the fork to continue on exit 31 North. Ha! <laughs> What's she gonna do? I disobeyed a direct order. What? What's she gonna do? Yeah, so I have the. Kilometers. Keep to the right on I 295. So Karen is a truck specific GPS. Google is not. So I have Google going hooked up through my my sound system just in case if Karen gets overwhelmed with the big big Apple. It happened before already too, where she'll she'll freeze. There's just too much going on. And then I've, it's happened in the past where I've missed an important turn that way, and I because I didn't realize that she froze. So I like to have a second GPS on just in case, but Karen is the primary one. She's in charge of that. I mean, I'm still the boss, but she is the manager of the directions. Chief navigator under the authority of myself. So I am the king of this truck.
Hopefully we can find a parking spot here. Too. 